Hey Wallet Hubbers! Today we'll go over how to build credit. You'll need good credit for everything from taking out a loan and saving money with the best credit cards to finding a place to live and even getting certain jobs. The easiest way to build credit is to open a credit card account and then use it responsibly, whether that's spending within your means and paying the bill on time each month or just locking the card in a drawer to avoid temptation. Either way, the card's issuer will report positive information to the major credit bureaus each month helping you build credit history if you have a thin file, or maybe rebuild it by burying past mistakes. So if that's all you need to know, you can check out the best credit cards to use to build credit by clicking the button here. Building a good credit score, consistently maintaining it, and then ultimately graduating to an excellent or even perfect score is a long-term process though. So let's talk about the steps involved with building credit over the long haul in a bit more detail. One of the first things you should do early on in the credit building process is get a sense of your starting point by checking your credit report. You should check for errors and confirm your credit standing is what you think it is. Plus, it's good to just get in the habit of checking your credit report and score on a regular basis, especially if you sign up for a free Wallet Hub account. Checking your credit regularly gives you a chance to gauge your progress and adjust as needed and using WalletHub will give you personalized advice on what to do. Next, and maybe the most important ingredient for a good credit score, is a track record of consistently on-time payments. Payment history is the biggest part of most credit scores, and it's one of the easiest things for you to control. You can at least take forgetfulness out of the equation by setting up automatic monthly payments from a bank account. In addition, try to make sure the balance listed on your credit card statement each month is less than 30% of your credit limit. That's what people mean when they talk about low credit utilization, and it will make it much easier to improve your credit score quickly. So you want to keep that utilization relatively low. Then, once you've had your first credit card for at least a year, consider applying for another. If you've used that first card responsibly, your credit score should have improved enough for you to qualify for a better deal. Adding another account will also increase your total available credit, and that will help your credit utilization ratio, and in turn, your credit score. It's also important to note that the diversity of your credit experience accounts for about 10% of your credit score. So you obviously never want to rush a decision like buying a car or a house, But if you are ready to take that step, it could actually benefit your credit score in the long run. And lastly, don't forget to build your emergency fund as you build your credit. Without some money saved for a rainy day, you're only a major unexpected expense away from a missed bill or credit score damage. So with those things in mind, you can compare the best credit cards for building credit on WalletHub today to find the right one for you. And as you build credit, you'll be able to qualify for better and better offers. Good luck, wallet hubbers.